In 2007, the North Dakota Air Guard's security forces began a partnership with the Minot Air Force Base to provide security in the missile fields. This is a major exercise that culminates a five-year process of having the 219th seamlessly integrate day-to-day -day into the missile field uh, with the active forces. So huge milestone, major success for the Guard and active duty integration. This is the first time we've tested the full capabilities of them being inserted on their own to an entire northern sector. It's a phenomenal event. It's something that uh, I tell you, for me as a career, a career enlisted man, I'm, I'm blown away. It is really awesome to see the counterparts and capabilities that they've done. The 219th integration was seamless between the Guard and the active duty forces, and um, that's the point. As they show up uh, to deter, delay, and deny uh, access, uh, you can't tell active duty from Guard, uh, and I thought the exercise went off uh, fantastically. Cut it, they check it? This is a culmination of a lot of hard work by a lot of people uh, within the state of North Dakota, outside the state of North Dakota. And certainly it's a team effort here at Minot with the 91st Security Forces Group, 91st Missile Wing, and the seamless integration to perform uh, the Chief of Staff's number one priority of uh, nuclear deterrence operations. So I'm ecstatic. Captain Greg Goodman, who works as the 219th Operations Officer, served as the on-scene commander for the exercise, directing both active duty and guard forces across more than 4,000 square miles of mission area. This is what we do day to day. Every time we trip out to the missile field, we conduct uh, uh, recapture exercises at the flight level. Uh, this is just a matter of scale, really. There's more pieces to control, more command and control, uh, a lot more communication, obviously, from what you saw. This exercise was the equivalent of the 219th Squadron's graduation day. So thank you for your service to the country. Thank you for what you did this morning. You know, for me, it was, uh, it was an eye-opener. You know, I, as I said, I had no clue what to expect when I got here, but what I saw was very gratifying. Reporting for First Air Force Now, I'm Sergeant First Class Amy Weiser-Wilson. That was a hell of a fight, Hole.